Look at them. Oh, I thought they were going to be full grown to start, but they're actually babies. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll get more blueberries. The sooner I plant these though, the better because, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I don't even have enough to crack my geodes. I went a little overboard. Oops. Hey guys, it's Adam AK, Swimming Bird, and welcome to Stardew Valley. Last episode, Maru's dad gave us the talk. Basically saying, hey, stay away from my daughter and don't mess up her career. But he can't stand in the way of love. Or at least I don't think he can. Also, we met a mouse who sells hats out in the woods, which sounds really creepy when I say it out loud, but he's adorable. We befriended some bats who are gonna hook us up with some fruit, and we settled a quarrel between two sisters over some couch cushions. So lots of stuff happened, but I am really excited for today. We're gonna get into it in just a second after we learn how to make an omelet. This is such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. A perfect omelet is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg. And I'm gonna show you my secret method. We can't make an omelet without eggs. And this is the last day of spring, but it's the first day of our life with our new feathered friends. Our chicken coop is done. Let's go check it out here. There we go, perfect. There's a bucket for them to splash around in or maybe drink, I guess. We can get hay out of there. And there's even a little door that we can open. Oh, and let them out. We'll have to do that as soon as we get some chicken, but we have to wait till nine. That's when Marnie's ranch opens as well as the blacksmith. So in the meantime, I've got some stuff to talk about, some news about the game, but first some mail. Adam, flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You'll feel energized. See you soon, Emily. She must be happy that I helped her with, uh, with Haley, we did complete a quest. Yes, the coop is done. So we got our raising animal quest done and got a little bit of gold for that. I've been saving up for the summer and it's almost here. This is the last harvest of the spring. It's a little sad. This is the last of the spring crops, but we got a lot to plant tomorrow. So I'm keeping my gold ready, but we're, we're gonna spend a little bit of it to get those chicken. And I think in the meantime, maybe I'll, uh, we can't chop stuff down yet but we can go around clearing some rocks and uh, maybe get some more hay while we're at it. You can see most of the rocks and stuff have been cleared out by me in the uh, in the between you know episodes and stuff. I've kind of used the rest of my energy before I go to sleep sorting things out. But look at there's so much uh, so much wood that needs to be chopped. So I'm gonna have to do that when we get our axe back, new and improved. Now a lot of you said go up into this corner here, and it does look like there's something over here. Let me see, what is this? I can't see behind the tree. There it is. Oh, what is this? I did, didn't mean to hit it with a pick. Adam, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, this is his shrine, I guess. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so he's gonna come back. That's a that's totally a Harvest Moon staple. In that series, you're, you're really trying to like please Gramps by fixing up the farm and, and making sure things are, are going well, and then he'll kind of judge you or grade your progress. So I mentioned we have some game news to talk about. The developer and creator of Stardew Valley, Concerned Ape, he has recently been talking about the big 1.1 update that he's working on, and that is going to come out probably uh, this upcoming month here. He's been hard at work on it. It might be, be, take a little longer than that because there's a lot of new stuff coming. We're gonna be able to marry Shane and Emily. There's so many more buildings and features being added into the game. And he did give us some hints for some new stuff. He said, 1.1 will have several new building types, including windmills to make flour and sugar, and sheds with interiors that you can decorate and use for storage, so that's cool. But he also did say, and those are just the boring ones, I'm keeping the coolest buildings secret for now. And with stuff like slime raising and dinosaurs and stuff, I'm not surprised. I think he's gonna have some crazy stuff in store for this big update. Now I'm saving the chickens for a second because that's the, that's the real exciting part for me, but I gotta go get my ax while we're at it. So let's do that and then we'll head to Marnie's. She should be open. Here we go, our copper ax, thank you. You received a copper axe. If I wasn't saving up to buy a ton of seeds, I would put my pick in with Clint, but I'm gonna wait. I wanna have as much gold as possible when summer comes around because I know a lot of you guys have been giving me tips. I, I asked last episode what type of stuff I should try to focus on planting, and a lot of you said blueberries and corn are very profitable. Blueberries make a lot of money, and they grow multiple times without having to buy more seeds, and also corn, you can grow into the fall and still get more corn and uh, not have to worry about it going away. We did time our crops for spring right, so I don't have to worry about that with any of that stuff, except for the strawberries. They're gonna go by the wayside. Howdy, all right. So it's time, guys. Let's purchase some animals. Look at them. 
They're adorable. All right, and I asked you, oh, we gotta choose our coop. Look at Hambo, and he's a little sad that we got new animals on the farm. I asked you guys for some name suggestions, and I'm gonna pick some names. We do have the random name feature, Trash. <laughs> That's the what I named a, uh, a raccoon in my uh, Minecraft world one time. All right, so the first suggestion here, this was suggested by Quattro and Gamer Dude Ray. They both suggested the name Drumstick, which I really like because Drumstick was my favorite character in Diddy Kong Racing. Also, as a kid, my favorite part of the chicken to eat. So there we go. Drumstick is our first chicken. Great. I'll send little Drumstick to her new home right away. And then we're going to get three more. So I've got more names from you guys. And this next one was suggested by Dylan. And he said we should name one, not Nerdo, uh, Lorraine like Lorraine Chicken from Adventure Time, and I like that one, so we got Lorraine in here as well. We're gonna send her to her new home, all right? And then next up, we've got one that was suggested by two people. This was suggested by Taylor, as well as Lady and Her Crazy Cats. Great username there. And she also gave me a hint about the blueberries, a little tip. This one is Peep, which is a simple name, but I think it works well for chickens. And then last but not least here, this one might be my favorite of the names. This was suggested by XTXOXKX, and uh, not an easy username to say, but it is easy to say Bach, like Johann Sebastian Bach, I think, but it's, uh, it sounds like the sound a chicken makes. So there we go, our last chicken. You can only have uh, four in the coop, and I don't think she sells anything that we really need yet. We've got hay, don't really need a heater until winter don't need shears or milk or anything like that yet, or a pail to get the milk. I see those cows there. And that is the next step. So pretty soon here, once we save up enough money, I spent a lot on those chicken, but it'll be worth it in the long run, I think. Once we save up enough money, I'm going to get, as soon as I can, get that barn going so that you guys can, uh, you can, you know, if you want, give me some more suggestions for names for cows. And this ax should be able to get rid of these rump stumps. Yeah, this is awesome. So I can finally get rid of some of this stuff. I know there's, ooh, we got hardwood too. Oh, we need a bunch of that for the stable. But uh, I want to get rid of the stump next to the coop. It's been bugging me. The more wood we have, the more I can build a fence around here and hopefully let these little guys out and graze for themselves so we don't always need to, uh, to have the the uh, food here. Oh my gosh, look at them. Oh, I thought they were going to be full grown to start, but they're actually babies. Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, little Bach. Okay, change. Oh, we can change their building, sell it. Oh, we don't want to sell them. Bach seems curious, but a little cautious. She's getting used to the new home. They're all probably like that. Let's pet them all. There we go, drumstick. Yeah, they're all little babies right now. That's Lorraine. So Lorraine and Drumstick are a little bit different looking. And uh, it's perfect, because Peep is the one that looks like a little Peep. All right, they're all doing well. I pet them all. I could put some hay in here. Jeez, I picked that up. There we go. Uh, I was going to I was gonna not worry about the hay, because I'll let them out. But I might as well just pop it down, you know, make sure they're well fed. But let's open the door up and let these guys out. This is going to be adorable. Come on. Come on, little ones. Come on. It's like Jurassic Park. Come on, out of the egg. They're already hatched. There they go. Oh my gosh. I can't handle this. Peep. Going straight for that grass. Peep is a hungry one. I lost them. They're, they're just stuck in there. No, they're doing all right. So uh, one thing I wanted to mention, and I should probably set this up soon, is that on Reddit, there was a user named Steamed Yeti Strike, and he figured out a cool thing that you can do. So if you have animals and you want to feed them, they will get rid of all this grass. But one thing that you can do that's nice is uh, put a fence over one of these little grass patches or a grass starter that you can get from Pierre. And what that does is makes it so that the grass will still grow out from that fenced area, but your animals won't eat it. So it's basically a little feeder that they can, uh, they, they won't be able to eat that. And it'll make sure you always have grass sitting there to spread out. And it takes a little time to spread out the grass, but I think it'll be uh, worth it so they don't destroy all your grass. They're all the way down there. Jeez, Drumstick or Lorraine, one of them is, uh, is real curious. Oh, this, here's one going for my sap, it's Lorraine. Though it doesn't look like my tappers are getting any sap yet. It might take quite a while to get that. Anyways, I, uh, I'm going to kind of clean up the farm a little bit, get some more wood, and, uh, and get ready because tomorrow will be the first day of summer. So let's skip ahead, and I'll see you guys then. 
before we head in for the night, I did uh, figure out from the comments this was an old wooden fence that rotted away because they don't last forever. And I couldn't figure out what it was. I'm going to make some more fence here, though, because I want to kind of get these little guys fenced in a bit. I think it, uh, it might be a little better to make sure they're not wandering all over the place. So I'm going to do this. I just want to show you guys that this is what I'm up to here. Oh, they're going inside. Ah, oh, so they know to go in in the evening. Good little guys. I'll have to make sure they're all in there and close that up. I know they don't tend to like it when, uh, when it's you know, open and it's too late at night. I might kind of keep some of the grass in here and maybe I'll try to use the uh, the idea there, put it over that and uh, that's probably pretty good. Don't have too much wood, but we'll do the best we can. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, Hambone. See you spring and hello summer. Let's see how we did with our last harvest. All right, should be enough to get a good amount of seeds and get off on the right foot for this uh, this first day. The roosters are crowing, even though we have chicken. All right, let's see how the weather is. I'm excited to uh, go grab those seeds. As long as Pierre is open, it's gonna be clear and sunny. Okay, we haven't had a rainy day in a while. I've been missing mining. Let's see, very happy. Okay, that's definitely good. And one more tip from living off the land. Summer's here along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. Okay, that's good to know. We have new music, too. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, well, there go the strawberry and, and my beans, but the whole the whole area here is all messed up. I didn't realize I'm going to have to redo a lot of my uh, my plots and refertilize and everything. Let's pet Hambone. It also makes it so, yeah, there's a lot of random stuff around that i got to clean up. I forgot to check, let's look in that cave. I mentioned we got those bats now. And let me see if they've left me any fruit. It looks a little brighter here too. <gasps> it's a salmon berry, not, you know, not the most exciting, but at least it's a nice little fruit. That's a spring fruit, so I should probably save that just in case we really need it. I know I didn't get enough of the, uh, the gold star crops. I should have saved five of the parsnips because I think that's how many we need for the bundle, but that's okay. Living and learning. All right, so let's, uh, I'll let my chickens out. I did complete this little fence here and left some little planters, or uh, some feeders. I should kind of move this around. Maybe I'll try to do that and uh, leave one spot here open so that I'll have to make a few more logs. But, uh, but leaving a spot open there, I can actually get around and get out of the way. So let me quickly craft a few of these and that'll be good. If we have any extra, extra ones, then uh, I can use those for a planner. But yeah, as soon as the, the shops are open, there's a rock right in front of the little door for the chicken. That's not good. I think I can get over here. Can I go up that? Nope, I gotta get rid of one more of these. It's gonna look a little weird here, but I think I have the right amount of logs to do it. There we go, now I can get through here. Otherwise, that would be kind of uh, annoying if I can't get on the other side of my pond easily. All right, let's get this out of the way. Someone does not want my chicken to come outside. There they are. Let's pet them all. Peep is looking fine. Definitely. There we go. Bach, they're all freaking out, though. They're so excited. This is Lorraine. She's really happy today. Okay, drumstick. Come on, little guy. There you are. He looks fine, too. Okay. Eat up. Well, geez, they just, just devoured that grass. They were so hungry. I did feed you guys yesterday. New season, a new appetite <laughs> for these chicken. All right, so let's go get some seeds from the store. It should be open now. And I got my geodes as well, so we can stop by the blacksmith, try to get something from him for uh, for those. Yeah, everything's a little different looking. The uh, the grass is a little more yellow. There's there's different stuff going on. Are these? Okay. At first I thought that we had some new type of uh, berry growing. Yeah, everyone's like planting different stuff too as well. It's, it's crazy. Uh, let's see. This is Sebastian. I almost thought it was Willy. I have a craving for seaweed. Please uh, bring one by for me. All right. I have no idea where to get that, but we'll do our best. Okay, Pierre. Don't have enough for that, but let's get some seeds. Okay, so I've got nine melon seeds. I want to get at least nine of, uh, of each thing if I can and more blueberry and corn, I believe. But I, I you know, I want to grow as much of uh, all the different variety as I can right from the start, so that way we ensure that we have a lot of it. Now, poppies are flowers, right? They're, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna, let's get a hop starter. These are probably, oh, they're not too bad, okay. Hops sound good, and corn. So how much do we have left over? I guess I'll just go crazy. All right, let's get a bunch of corn. 
I'm going to try to get mostly corn here, I think, because that'll keep growing, but also I'll get more blueberries. The sooner I plant these, though, the better because... Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> I don't even have enough to crack my geodes. I went a little overboard. Oops, well, uh, live and learn, like I said earlier. Well, the dog was actually out. It's so creepy. I kind of want to have that dog meet Hambone and see if they get along, but it might not happen. Yeah, there's like crazy tropical plants and stuff growing. The, the town was completely redecorated overnight. I love animals, Mr. Adam. If you treat yours well, I'm sure they'll become good friends. Yep, I'm treating those little chickens with a lot of love already, even though we are completely broke. But look how much money we're going to get when we, uh, <laughs> I'm sure, we'll have plenty of money once we plant all this stuff. So I'm going to go back to the farm, plant all these crops, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, just under the wire, I planted almost everything, watered it all. I'm almost going to collapse. We got a pet ham bone and get to bed. We already pet him. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll plant the wheat tomorrow. It'll be all right. We did level up our foraging. I had to cut down so many trees to get more sap and make fertilizer. Let me see. Ooh, wood worth 50% more. Chance to double harvest on foraging items. I think having more wood would be easier because almost everything needs it to build. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for more Stardew Valley.